No test team can run every single test case on every single release or cycle of a product. So being able to aggregate test results from different cycles or different test runs is essential for reporting and seeing the whole picture. In this video we're going to look at how Quality Center deals with result aggregation within the analysis view and reporting module. So to do this we're going to work with the test sets that have been set up for a number of cycles within a particular release and we're looking at cycle 1, 2, 3 within release 10.8. So to report across all of these cycles, under the analysis view, we can create a new graph using the graph wizard. And we'll work with test instances, i.e. the test runs, and we'll create a summary graph. At this point, we won't create the filter, but we'll use this filter in a minute to aggregate results across the cycles. We'll group by status, i.e. pass, fail, not complete, and the x-axis we will use test set name. We'll add this report into our analysis view under our test execution reports. And then we'll apply the filter, which will aggregate the results across the different cycles. Now to do this, we need to add a cross filter. And that cross filter will be applied to target cycles across the runs. So we select cross filter on runs, scroll down, and select target cycles. And within here, we can then select the cycles that we want to aggregate our results across. So in this instance, we're looking at release 10, cycle 1, or cycle 2, or cycle 3. Once we've applied that filter and we view the report, you can then see the aggregated test results across all of the executed test sets for cycles 1, 2, and 3. A word of caution on these reports. This is a report that's aggregated over time. So you can never accept this as the whole truth. You know, there are some test cases that we ran a while back in this report as part of cycle one. And if we were to run those test cases again in cycle three, they may be a, a different test status this time round. However, this type of report does give us the status of multiple test cases that have been run over many cycles or many builds of a product under test. 